on the mandatory vaccine, no recommendations were tabled, and all we are looking at is the entire information on the implications of the mandatory stuff. You see, to say it safely, it's so clear to a number of us that you need a policy that encourages vaccination and you need a policy that discourages cynicism towards vaccine. As we sit now, we all know now it's no longer a, a, a dispute in dispute. The damage the restriction caused last year, lock, uh, level five and so on. Thousands of business that stop, a number of jobs that have been lost, and the uncertainty that has been created by corona, that people don't know when are we going to lock down or not. The attitude the government is adopting is find the best possible way of navigating whilst ensuring that the initiatives for livelihood are intensified, ensuring that the economy moves. Again, when firms want vaccination, those firms positively want to assist this country. Other firms which did not care about this country will not be interested in vaccination. They want to make sure that they participate in this country economically in a manner that absorbs those who are unemployed, in a manner that gives them opportunity to pay to our tax so that we've got revenue to develop those who are poor. So I'm saying, let's take this with positive attitude. If vaccine doesn't kill you, but there's more benefits when you take it for your country, for your children and friends and your country, why must it be difficult? We're making this appeal to our people. Cabinet remains encouraged that the justice system continues to take decisive steps to bring those who were found to have been involved in acts of corruption to account. The Commission of Inquiry into allegations of state capture, corruption and fraud in the public sector, including organs of state, is scheduled to submit its final report to President Sudo Ramaphosa on Saturday, 1st January 2022. On the Cabinet decision, ladies and gentlemen, on the extension of the National State of Disaster, Cabinet approved a recommendation by the National Coronavirus Command Council to further extend the National State of Disaster to 15 January 2022 in terms of Section 27, Subsection 5, Paragraph C of the Disaster Management Act 2002 Act 57 of 2002. The national state of disaster is aimed at responding to the special circumstances presented by the COVID-19 pandemic.